<laughs> Back again. Lake Superior Lichen. Okay, we're going to do a uh, rocket stove. To make a chocolate of tea right now. Let's do it right now. No wasting time. It's actually really hot today here. It's warming up. And the bugs are coming out. First day of bugs. Mark it today. May 18th. Yeah. Just pouring the water. Should be good. Guess we should get it started first. Now. This is what we'll do. Two and one. So I was telling you about uh, Baby's Balsamia Balsam Fur. We're going to find some blisters on that to uh, smear on the end of this stick to start the fire better. Maybe a little bit of this. Birch. You just make a little thing like that. Something like that, like a little torch. And you could cut the end and just stick it in there. Get it going, put it in the rocket stove. So, I'm gonna put that birch down. I'm gonna grab the camera. We're gonna go get that uh, balsam uh, sap. Whoa, camera work, God. Okay. Here we are. Okay. There's a good little bubble here, right here. Oh, that, yeah, I already just sliced it. Why do you need to take that chunk out? It's hard to do this. A little sap on the end there. Just to show you. Now you can put that on wounds, like I said. But I'm going to put some on the end of this birch. It's just whatever. Just to show you. I could, I could really soak this stick right up with it. I don't want to be jabbing at a tree and killing it. But yeah. There you go. I'll just smear it on there. Eh. That's not going to do much. Whatever. Just to show you. It lets you put you back in the... Which my, my bun didn't last. So I went back to my original glove and a shoe. Okay, that should do. Okay. So I got our already hooked up. I already put some sticks in there from last time. Remember the fire band? I couldn't do it. Well, the fire band's done now. So now I'm going to light this, get it going. Yeah, it's crackling. It lit, it lit pretty good there. I think it's going to go. Get another piece of birch bark. I have one. It's starting. I'm going to push it in now, kind of get it in further. Ah. See, this one's not the most efficient because I just broke these to make a hole. So uh, there's some cracks in it. So I'm going to do a better one with, with uh, bricks, red bricks. 
That would be best. Third is. Yes. Good to get a poker stick too. Poke it in there. Well, I'll uh, get going. Yeah, you load it from the top too before I uh, put the, the, the pot on. Nice and dry wood. Let's uh, little pieces. We're good. My fur's gonna be all black now. Okay, that's set. Boy all. Boy oh boy oh water Get in there Okay get the chaka set up Got that Put some chaka in there about a about a centimeter up centimeter from the bottom or so what was that? Hello? Huh. Whatever, right? That should be good. It's like, ah, about, you know, three, maybe half an inch. Putting the old uh, Magaroo. Get that ready. That's ready. Let's see if that's going good. Oh, yeah. Okay, in the meantime, I'll, uh, I got a new wall to pull up. Got some bamboo sticks that were uh, lying around. We'll do that quick while that's boiling. See how quick I could do this. I got lichen, crappy lichen eyes. That's in. Whoa. Okay, now to tie up the, the two bamboo fences together, I'm just gonna find a piece of cedar uh, just like a little cedar twig. They're they're bendy and twisty. You can use cedar bark too. How's that going? Woo! Get that up there. Get that cedar. Oh, it's some right here. Put the cedar. Like it's like kind of like roots, so I'm gonna. It's bendy. I'll use it as like rope.
that in there. And again, now just weave it through the fence back to the camera here. Okay, there's one piece. So this isn't cedar, this is a piece of spruce, but I'll do it with this anyway. Stick. <clears throat> ah, well, that didn't go well. Let's find another stick. Okay, how's this going? Okay, I'll drop that. So the progress in this T here. Please don't hit the record button again. Okay. She's good. She's good, that rocket stove. I'm looking at through the camera doing this. Oh! That should do, whoop. All right. Chaga, chaga tea. Again, they get the chaga, it's a, like a fungus that grows on white birch. Betula papyrifera, okay? So I got that steeping away. That'll all burn out, those sticks. That was a good one. I could burn, should do my hot dogs right now. Very efficient, just a couple of sticks. Some bark, birch bark, good. Okay, here's the wall. See what I, uh, wrapping the stick around. Just a little wall fence. I'm gonna connect this up better here. You just weave it in and out. Same with down there. Oh, my fingers. What am I doing? So sorry. Okay, so you see the wall. <laughs> Not bad. It's pretty re adds to this place a little bit. I'll go from the. You know, I'll make that all straight, you know. It's kind of cool. Yeah. That's still going. Okay. Chaga tea. Gonna put this back, I guess. So I could do stuff. Oh my God. Saved. You get all the unedited stuff. In the future, I'll probably start editing, but for now, you get, you get to see everything. Okay. All right, it's uh, been uh, three minutes or so. The longer you wait, the more potent it'll be. Uh, mind you, I remember doing some potent, waiting too long, maybe 10 minutes, and it was way too, a little bit bitter. It was too potent. But if you get it just right, it's uh, this, like a smooth vanilla uh, tea. That's the closest thing I could think of. Uh, a vanilla something, coffee, tea. Yeah, it's very good for you. That rocket stove blasted that. Whoa. Okay. Hot, 
that cool down and uh maybe the next video i'll let you know how it tastes uh it tastes like uh burning uh, inferno hotness right now okay hope you like the rocket stove chaga tea see you later like and subscribe signing out Mwah.